What's going on guys? Deadly here and today I'm bringing you a little bit of Black Ops 2. I don't really know what this is. This is capture the hard, capture the hard point. I thought it was just called the hard point, but we're capturing the hard point. And today I saw a little bit of Call of Duty Ghosts because there's an S at the end. That's just really awkward. I feel like they should have just named it Call of Duty Ghosts. That would have been fine, but it's called Call of Duty Ghosts, whatever. Um, Again, really awkward, just that S. I don't, um, I don't know. Um, I saw a little bit of gameplay, and by a little bit, I really do mean like a little bit, because I was watching a tapes video where, uh, him and Tina Anders were talking about it for a little bit, and then it skips to the gameplay, and I think there's like four minutes of gameplay on that, but I only watched like the first 30 seconds, and then I went straight to the comments, and I was kind of disappointed with what the comments had to say. I mean, most of the comments were hating on Call of Duty Ghosts, even though the game isn't even out yet. Although, I will say something about that game right now is I don't like the S. I don't like the S at the end of that name. Change it. Uh, that needs changing. But, anyways, like, there was a lot of hate. There was uh, talking about how it was dumb that it was going to still run at 60 frames per second. I don't I don't know about you guys, but I don't really count my frames while playing. And I'm like, nope, that's, that's 60 frames per second. I need one more frame. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know why people really focus on that so much. Graphics... As long as I can tell what I'm shooting at and what my gun looks like, I'm completely fine. I don't really need these fancy HD graphics and stuff. But some people are into that, and I get that. That's fine. But sometimes you're asking for a little too much, especially when they release a game every year. Now, if they had a little bit longer than a year, that then I guess I would understand. Like, you know, maybe amp up the graphics, maybe do a little bit more. But with a year, uh, you don't you don't really have a, a lot of time, and I feel like people don't truly understand how much goes into a game and I don't truly understand however I definitely know that uh, Infinity Ward is, isn't like two months away from releasing they're like alright guys uh, I think we should definitely start working on that game now because we have two months I don't think that's how it goes I think as soon as they release their game they're up and running on the very next one and um, even then I, I frankly I don't feel like it's enough time for them to be uh, making a game however they do until they release one every year and I, th I truly think that if they took a little bit more than just one year they would do they would make an exceptional game um, however that's not the way their deadline works one game a year that's how they do it Treyarch and Infinity Ward they switch off whatever but anyways back to the game Call of Duty Ghost from what I saw it looked okay it looked good I mean you have to remember that it's kind of you know that it's just the what's it called the campaign and frankly I don't really like the campaign campaign isn't something that I play that much and so uh, it doesn't really affect me whatsoever seeing that uh, the graphics again I, it does give me an insight on what the game gonna look like the guns look fine it looks like the guy was using like an M4 A1 or like an M27 it looks exactly like the M27 on this game with the silencer uh, you could control the dogs I don't know how I feel about controlling my own dogs. I frankly I like my dogs doing the work while I run around. But hey, if if I have to control my dogs, who knows? I might do some funny stuff with my dogs. I don't know. But um, again, based on what I saw, there isn't much that I can say. Like you know what, uh, this game isn't gonna be good. This game is gonna be good. And that's kind of what annoyed me quite a bit about what I read in the comment section. A lot of the comments were saying, "Oh, this is crap. This game is exactly like Black Ops 2." Which is weird because I can't control my dogs in Black Ops 2, so to say that it's exactly like it doesn't really make sense to me. Um, also, the gameplay is probably going to be completely different. I don't know if dolphin diving is in there. Hopefully not. That's one of the stupidest things that is in this game. And th that's not to say that this game is bad. I Frankly, I think this game is pretty good. I enjoyed Modern Warfare 3 a little bit more than I did this one. Uh, and this was a huge improvement from Black Ops 1 because, frankly... Black Ops 1 for me was unplayable. I hated that game, and you guys saw that. If, you follow, if, you, if you've been following me for long enough, you guys saw that because halfway through Black Ops 1, I went back to Modern Warfare 2, and I finished off that year with Modern Warfare 2, hardly even touched Black Ops 1. And frankly, that's what I'm going to do when I don't like a game. If I don't like a game, I go back to the previous one because I, if I enjoyed it. And uh, if not, then I go back to the one even further back. Um... But yeah, th this was a huge improvement from Black Ops 1, and frankly, I think that Call of Duty Ghosts, there's that S again, uh, I think it's going to be, if not better than Modern Warfare 3, 
at least as good as Modern Warfare 3. Um, hopefully, there's no, nothing like a one-man army from Modern Warfare 2. But frankly, like I said, I can't tell you guys anything from what I saw. All I saw was campaign, and I've never played one campaign on any of these Call of Duties. So, I, I mean, if campaign is your thing, let me know what you guys thought about the campaign. From what, from the little you could have seen. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, there is, uh, there's absolutely nothing that I can tell you about. Except that I'm, like I said, I'm kind of disappointed with people's way of judging a game that hasn't even come out yet. Um, it just, it just doesn't make sense to me, and I feel like it's kind of unfair for someone who makes a game every year. And I think I die really stupidly right here. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just, nope. Wow, that guy didn't kill me. I thought I was gonna die right there. Um... But yeah, I don't know. There was there was just a lot of hate for game that hadn't been out there, that hasn't come out yet, and it's it almost feels like people are hating just to hate. Um, I could have gotten like a quad there. That would have been amazing. But yeah, it almost feels like people are just hating to hate. Like they don't really have a point in it. Like they don't really have feedback. It's just like no, this game sucks. I'm going to Battlefield Four. And a lot of the a lot of the arguments were that Battlefield 4 is better because apparently it's different from Battlefield 3. And although I'm positive that there's definitely changes from Battlefield 3 to Battlefield 4, I don't think those changes are enough to make someone say, "Wow, this this doesn't even feel like a Battlefield game. This this is completely new." And I think that's probably the biggest problem that people uh, face with this is that there was like, "Wow, this is exactly like the other Call of Duties." Well, yeah, it's a series. It's a Call of Duty series. How how could you possibly expect this to feel like something else than Call of Duty? They have to stick with Call of Duty because that is the series. If you want something else, then they'd have to make something else. They'd have to start another series in which all of the crazy things that you want in the game are. And I don't that's that's another thing. People aren't really asking for anything. They're just saying this game sucks. No feedback whatsoever. Like that's not a lot to work off of if you're a game developer. And uh, I don't know. I just I just kind of wanted to give you guys my two cents on uh, on what people are saying. I guess it just it just feels kind of weird. And I keep picking up that scar thingy. What is it called? No one really knows. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's just kind of weird. And I've I've never really found uh, fun in hating things, especially a series that I like. Um, so I can't really tell you how I feel about Call of Duty Ghosts until I play it. Uh, I just feel that if you don't, don't just don't fall into that trap of uh, I hate Call of Duty because I've played Call of Duty before and it's probably gonna be the same thing. You know, don't don't fall under that trap. Don't fall under the trap that everybody's hating this game, so I should hate it too. Um, in the end of the day, I guess the message is if there's ever a message for my gameplays, uh, don't let other people's influences influence you that didn't make sense i meant opinion don't allow other people's opinions influence you and uh that camo makes your gun glow other than that if you guys enjoyed let me know in the comment section below uh and peace